previous genus name of uh, this particular plant. Why they wouldn't leave it there, I have no idea, but Sphagnaticola trilobata. Okay? You'll notice that uh, it's opposite leaf arrangement and the leaves are trilobed. So three lobes on the leaves. That's where trilobata comes from. Okay? The petioles are very short, uh, sometimes, sometimes winged. Okay? And then if you'll notice, if you kind of rub your hand backward on this leaf, there are hairs there that make it kind of scabrous. Okay? Flowers typically occur up here where two sets of the foliage, so opposite foliage, right? So there will be a larger set that subtends a smaller set, but it sort of sets a plate for the flowers. All right? Almost makes a little bit of a, of a place for the flowers to occur. They'll be yellowish to orangish flowers. Uh, again, they'll be um, composite. So with ray flowers and disc flowers, they'll both be a yellowish to a yellowish orangish color. All right, stems are tan to somewhat purple, and they tend to sort of have this almost little arch in them from, uh, as internodes. So you see this sort of curved structure, okay? So that's something that if you need it, you can have it. If you don't, don't worry about it. But look for uh, foliage that almost kind of looks like a duck's foot that is uh, somewhat uh, scabrous due to the hairs that occur in that one direction. And then we see again the foliage where there's these sort of plate that, or some sort of a structured form to, to showcase the flowers. Large uh, leaves here and in the opposite direction, a little bit smaller, okay? This thing will begin to, to be relatively aggressive, especially if given some, uh, some protection here. Farther south, it's very aggressive, all right? And you need to make sure you can keep it contained, uh, but here, it typically dies back for us in the winter and will come back. Uh, so zones, what, nine to, to 10 or 11, it's a, a reliable evergreen. And then uh, zones eight, zone seven, much more uh, herbaceous. Okay.